Hello and welcome to my channel. Hello today. I'm going to show you guys a few things about this arch oil that some people are using, some don't. And we're going to give you, I'm going to give you a review of this product. And you're going to make a decision based on this review if you want to continue to use or not. It's going to be up to you as the owner of a diesel vehicle. And I'm going to show you the good and the bad. So this particular AR6500 diesel treatment has two sides. There's a good side and there's a bad side. And the bad side, unfortunately, takes over the good side. And I'm going to show you in this video competitors too. Something that you going to appreciate and make a decision which products is going to work best for you. So let me show you. First, it says improves combustion efficiency, reduces soot and smoke. Is it really true? Yes, and I'll explain to you why. Cleans injectors, turbos, DPF, reduces regions. Uh, partial truth. Lubricates and protects fuel system. Mm, we're going to talk about that, this one. So, let's scroll down. It says it increases CTN up to points. Can it increase? Absolutely. I don't see why company would be lying. And it's definitely... Uh, when you increase the CTN, what you're doing, you you truly are possibly increasing fuel MPG responses. It will respond better because now it burns. What CTN does in a diesel uh, uh, engine, it helps complete the burn. So you have less soot, you have complete burn. Instead of slow burn, it ignites and then burns faster. So you have this fast punch to the piston, moves the pistons down, and you know creates this fast moving action inside the engine instead of slow burning you know it's like sluggish and so on so that's what cetane does in the diesel engine up to eight points why is it only up to eight points well because depending how much the concentration the ratio if you get it perfect ratio as they say you're going to get up to eight points max but if you're off a little bit well then you're not gonna get eight points or if you do more than what it says supposed to, because sometimes people think, well, I add more, it will do good. No. If the product is engineered and formulated to be at that certain uh, ratio, that's how it's going to work. If you get, do more, it's going to do harm. You're not going to benefit from it. You do less, well, you're going to get less performance out of it. So that's the reason why. So let's look at this before and after. Can it actually clean up like this? Absolutely, yes. When you have a complete burn, less smoke, yeah. Hotter, the flame is hotter with less smoke and less carbon kind of, everything gets burned. Yes, you're gonna have a cleaner uh, here, the nozzle of injector. What about here, the turbo? Is it possible to have a clean metal, shiny surface of using it? This is absolutely false information. If this here, was true then injector tip would have been clean as well you see right here the injector tip there is some shiny i'm not sure if it's a the original metal shiny it looks like original metal yeah it would have been you would have seen same result but you don't you they only show you that on a turbo and there is no way possible you know why because the injector tip sees flames all the time turbo sees usually they're just a hot uh depending how hot it's running it's not going to see the same flame results it's going to see less so this is what turbo clean will look like after using it not this there is no way you're going to get uh components that are exposed to high heat and sometimes flames is going to be clean like this it's just not possible so this is definitely false information on the turbo side on the injector side yes but then still something does not light up because I can see shiny metal parts on the left and no shiny metal parts on the right with the uh, additive, diesel fuel additive. Okay, so so this is the portion that I was talking about, the truth, the truth uh, that I would believe that uh, CTM will improve combustion, reduces soot and smoke, that is very true. Uh, cleans injectors, uh, yes, if it has cleaner, turbo and DPF reduces regions, yes, because if you have less smoke, less uh, regions, that's true. Lubricates and protects fuel system. This is where I am questioning their uh, statement. 
There is no way that's possible. And you're going to agree with me yourself. Before, she discards, look at a, uh, how deep, you know, we can't really tell, but we can see there is some scuffing, scars. And then if you look at here, look how wide, after using it, how wide the, 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 the scar, you know what I mean, from whatever testing they did with the fuel additive. And look at something else. They zoomed in here to show, and they zoomed out. Why do they zoom out? You know why? Because the, there's such a high. When do you let's take, let's let's look at from perspective of taking a picture. When do you zoom out? You zoom out with your phone or camera is when you want to see a bigger uh, to capture the background or the entire view or whatever you're taking picture of completely. You know in that your viewfinder or whatever you want to get capture as much as possible but when you do uh, up close you just wanted the detail only so here what they're showing us on the left untreated fuel has less wear than fuel treated is it really possible to have this absolutely yes i seen a video don't remember the name of it someone done a testing and they had different samples uh, they had untreated diesel fuel. They had it treated with different uh, fuel add diesel fuel additives, and some diesel fuel additives. I don't remember the names. I'm not gonna comment on the names. Did improved the wear scar. There was less. There were other fuel additives. They improved little bit. That that basically using them was not really much worth the cost. They didn't do much of in terms of lubricity. And there were other fuel, diesel fuel additive that actually made it worse. The scar, wear scar on the, the in the testing was a lot worse with diesel fuel additive than, than the straight diesel fuel. So here in this example, they show when you look at the gouges that was created during the testing with the fuel additives. It's clearly that in this case, arch oil is not doing any better. Plus, they zoomed out. What happens when you zoom in? Let's see if I can do a zoom in on mine. And well, I will try to zoom in during the video edit and see if I can do that. But you can clearly see, you know, you see the square here? Look at the square here. So you're not even doing apple to apple comparison first. Why zoom out? Well, because the wear is so much higher and you want to capture and show this. So it's not less. Say, Typical diesel at the pump does not meet engine manufacturing recommendation for lubricity. That is true statement. And I'm going to show you from two other comparisons, from other two competitors that I show you uh, pretty much exactly the same thing. 6500 6, chemistry improves fuel lubricity. Well, it does not improve. Having those big gouges, it's like even you can see a triangle shaped gouges versus small tiny scars here. Well, I don't see why. Anyone would use this product if they're looking for lubricity. It's going to destroy your injectors, your pump. So that's pretty much it. Can it improve fuel economy? Absolutely, yes. What, what improves fuel economy? It's complete burn. You have the big punch. Instead of slow burning flame, you have that instant punch. Flame comes in like a, it's like a gasoline, you know, high octane gas that ignites fast and burns completely fast. Not like a slow, like a, like a kerosene slowly burning or like a more oil slowly burning, you know what I mean? That gives off too much smoke. This is fast punch. This is where the cetane helps. So this is the bad side. It will have, based on this information, you can see how much of the gouges here versus, and that's zoomed out. If you zoom in, you're going to be shocked how much of a wear this product causes based on the information available on Arch Oil website. Keep in mind, after this video comes out, being posted arch oil i have no doubt will modify their website either will remove this or will do something what i have seen it many companies do they revise their web pages after i post a video so let me show you the competitors here is the comparison uh, chart of one of their competitors that i'm not going to give the name and versus competitors so this one does CTN improves 46% to 100%. Uh, additives to clean. Stronger solvent 
moisture dispersant, dispersant in freeze point to minus 9 Fahrenheit. Low bristly and gentle enhancer. And if you look at the competitor, uh, com, uh, competitors, not all of them will provide the same as this competitor product. Very interesting, isn't it? So let me show you something else from the same competitor website. The test they did. Here is the max max wear scar is 520 microns. This here right here is the fuel, straight fuel. The results you get 637 minor axis diameter, 537 major, and then wear scar 612 that they got with the fuel. So this fuel right here, see the it's in red, it's flagged. It means it's it does not even meet ASTM D6079. This is how bad the diesel fuel quality is. So it doesn't even meet the specifications. And imagine running a diesel fuel that does not meet specification and expecting great result. Well, that's that's the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing and expecting different results. And again, definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting different results. Using low quality fuel and expecting great results, well, that's insane. Same thing with the motor oils. There's a lot of motor oils out there that's supposed to meet the specifications on paper, but when you test, that's a different story. So, now this column here, it shows fuel that is treated. You see how much lower the worst car? Look, 499 versus 637. That's a significant difference. 407 versus 587. That's how much smaller worst car. Look at this. 453, look at this, 612, that's a significant drop. So the fuel treated already meets the ASTM D6079. Treated, untreated does not even meet. That's why so many people are having problems with injectors, especially with a high pressure pump, CP4s. Even CP3s fail. There's plenty of them being sold, brand new or used or remanufactured because they, they keep failing. They fail because of lack of lubricity, lack of changing filters, and so on. So, that's a one comparator. Let me show you another comparator. Remember those numbers, 520, 612, 453. So, here is another example, another comparator. If you look at the screen, the blue line is untreated field for different states. And it's a treated fuel number represents a wear scar. Same, same, same uh, AST and D6070 they're using. And if you look at the bottom of the chart, it says that fuel must meet to be 520 or less. Same number, 520 for wear scar or less as was with the, with the first, with previous comparator that I showed. So, and in Canada, it's like 460 or less. So to achieve 460, that's uh, or less. It's 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 a challenge. If you look at the uh, you know untreated fuel, different gas stations. Look, 484, 551. None of them. Well, 484 meets the U.S. but not the Canadian standards. 551 does not meet. 520 does not meet. 525. 520 in Texas meets it barely. 512, 509. So as you can see, majority of the fuel does not meet for lubricity standards. And then when you look at it at treated fuel, look at the treated fuel, how the red line, 381, 392, 389, 327, 350. It's so much less worse car that it's that significantly improves lubricity of the fuel, meaning you're going to have less wear significantly on your CP4 or CP3 or, or other pump that you, run, they have, that you have in your equipment and less wear on your injectors. So does it make sense using a quality, a quality diesel fuel additives from the company that has data, that has numbers? Absolutely. To me, it's worth it. You know, every person has different preference. Some people don't like numbers. They just like pictures that Every person has a preference, and if you like truth, you like the facts, well, 
I gave you the information and you can uh, make a decision for yourself what works best for you. Do you want my opinion? I can give you my opinion. And however, one more thing. I am testing currently two of these uh, major competitors. I'm going to be sharing this on my channel. Hopefully by the end of summer I'll have enough data to, to show you. Maybe sooner. We'll see. Thank you for watching, man. Don't forget to share this video with others.